Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we're making a stunning flower shop slash summer garden. If you're new here, I post two blender tutorials per week, sometimes three, depending on my schedule and my energy level that week, I guess. Um, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like or comment below and subscribe to my channel, please. Thank you. The flower shop that I'm going to make today is the kind of a Victorian styled architecture that you can see all around London and the UK. They are so pretty, I am a big fan of them and I see them all around London. So I really wanted to recreate that in my scene here. Uh, but the previous model that I made, um, as you can see, I was not very happy with the look of it. So don't worry about it, I'm going to delete that uh, later on and create and show you how I actually created um, the model that I actually want to use in the final scene. Now I'm making these sort of uh, very cute, smooth looking stylized bricks for the floor. In low poly art and the set designs like this, I think it's very important to not ignore the landscape. So the bricks are a very important part of it and in the later part of the video you can see how I use um, shading to create different colors and different uh, levels of the floors as well. Yeah, this is the part where I delete the old model. And uh, you can see that I left the bricks on the side because I'm still going to use these bricks on the side of the walls to make it more dimensional.
from the camera view to see how your composition and style is looking currently from the camera view. So you have a rough idea of what you are you trying to achieve, what are you going to present in the final image. And now because we're going for a quite stylized look for this scene, we're going to add a few rows of bricks onto the wall, but not completely fill the entire wall with the bricks. So each row of brick will have different numbers of bricks in them and they're going to have a different shade of colour as well. And last but not least, we're going to make some very nice looking ivy that goes around the exterior of the building. So ivy is not going to be only one colour, there are going to be leaves of, of a darker green and of a lighter green as well. So we're creating two different types of leaves here and we're going to use them later on to populate a plane. And that plane is going to be used with the particle system to become our IV in the sea.
Okay friends, that's it for now. I will see you on my channel again on this Friday for part 2 of this tutorial. Stay tuned to find out how I make realistic plants and roses for the scene. Thanks for watching!